While migrant children are literally dying in U.S. custody, the Trump administration is claiming that they caught thousands of terrorists at the border. And as Stephanie and I were saying, that's an absolute lie. Let's Just take say a look. That one more time. It's a lie. It's an it's absolute lie. lie. Let's take a look at how we how we got to this. All right. Just days into the new year, President Trump claimed that 17,000 criminals were trying to get across the border. But and this is how he this is exactly what he said. But for fact's sake, the Washington Post reports that statistic is mangled. U.S. Customs and Border protection encountered 16,831 people convicted of crimes in the United States or abroad. 63% of those people showed up at ports of entry. That includes airports, travelers, not just people trying to get across the border. Everything that is wrong in America, Donald Trump says, is happening at the southern border. A day later, in a briefing with border officials, President Trump claimed 3,755 known or suspected terrorists were prevented from traveling to or entering the United States by Department of Homeland Security. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen included this number in a presentation to Congress, but again, very misleading. It refers to stops made by Department of Homeland Security across the globe, mainly at airports. Nielsen did not break down how many people showed up at airports versus land crossings. At the White House on Friday, Nielsen claimed that Customs and Border Patrol stopped over 3,000 special interest aliens trying to come into the country through the southern border. The DHS spokesperson stated this figure was separate, believe it or not, from the 3,755 figure that we just discussed. discussed all right, So we, we had already said that there were 3,755 on January uh, 3rd, and now all of a sudden she says more than 3,000. However, this is where things don't make sense. The DHS testified to Congress back in 2016 that special interest aliens do not necessarily have connections to terrorism. As Stephanie pointed out, that they, they often mean that they have travel patterns that uh, go to countries uh, uh, where you get secondary screening or you are from a country where there may have been terrorists at some time. So to suggest that they are about, terrorists is just, it's a lot. But what you're talking about are details. And when some of the should be most trusted voices in our country are looking into a TV camera and saying there are thousands of terrorists we're stopping, but you can see how that works, right? You can see how that gets people riled up. Joining us now is New York Times national immigration reporter, Caitlin Dickerson. Uh, Caitlin, good to have you back here. Uh, you wrote the piece, The Price Thank of you. Trump's Migrant Deterrence Strategy. Uh, new chaos on the border. A crisis is emerging at migrant shelters as the Trump administration focuses on, as one official puts it, how we can deter rather than how we can handle. That's from your piece. Tell us what that means. So this piece deals with a similar theme to what you two were just talking about, which is sort of a false reality that's being used to drive immigration policy. So what we heard from officials across the federal government who work in immigration is that for months, in some cases for over a year, they've been asking for help to deal with this buildup of families along the border, which we've talked about before. And they, those requests have been denied because all of the focus is on coming up with new deterrent policies. So we know that family separation and the asylum ban were immediately blocked by the courts. And these new policies that are now being generated, policies like making asylum seekers wait in, in Mexico while their cases are adjudicated, which can take years, or a plan to build vast tent cities along the border, these officials working on these plans know that they're either likely to end up being immediately blocked by courts, just like the others, or they're going to be so expensive that they won't be justifiable to taxpayers. But that doesn't matter. They're under strict orders to move forward anyway, again, under this sort of this false reality that, that we're talking about. So why do they tell you that's the case? If they are being put Put in a situation where they're executing a plan that's only going to create more chaos, the cynic in me would obviously say, well, that's just a whole lot of political theater at the expense um, uh, from, from a financial standpoint to the U.S. taxpayer and at the emotional and physical expense of those customs workers and those migrants. So that's what the cynic in me would say. But the optimist, what's the answer? What are they telling you why they're doing this? It's hard to come up with an optimistic way of looking at the facts on the ground. They're pretty indisputable. They are confusing. And so one of the ways that I've come up with most recently to sort of stay focused and help people understand, you know, because they're trying to keep track of these facts and figures and the president is saying one thing and the press secretary is saying another. 
but they're not true, is that, you know, I think when it's important for this administration and everyone in it to, to toe the line and to continue repeating these facts and mm -hmm. figures, even if they're not true. And my takeaway from the statements you went over earlier are, you know, when Donald Trump says criminal, he means immigrant, and that could be legal or illegal. When he says southern border, he actually means you've come into the country through land, through air, through sea. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's all southern border. You know, when he says terrorist, he actually means anybody who at any time has been worthy of any kind of secondary inspection. And that could even be for a reason as simple as the country you come from. And so we now have to come up with tools to cut through what they're saying. And I think the reason they're saying it, you asked about, is that, you know, they've got to stay on message. Hey, hey, Caitlin, one of the the effective tools is that you report on this, right? There are really a handful in this country of, of, of people who dedicate their journalistic efforts to immigration because of something you just said. It is actually complicated and it is actually confusing. And we have had a, a legacy of this in this country where we talk about a broken immigration system. There are a whole bunch of people we talk to, CEOs, who think the broken immigration system is that they can't get enough visas for uh, engineers that they need from the other part of the world. But we have so diluted and confused this conversation into being everything wrong with American immigration and safety has got to do with the southern border. It, it, how do you fix this? Because it does seem like the president and, and that crowd is, is dominating this conversation. I think it's really up to us as journalists and up to readers and viewers, unfortunately, to, to do a little bit of extra work and make sure that we are sort of recapturing the narrative. You know, here are some things that we don't typically talk about, Ali. You know, two thirds of new undocumented immigrants every year are people who overstay visas. Mm -hmm. We have more immigrants coming every year from Asia than from Latin America combined. Do we ever talk about those two right. things? We don't. And the border officials I interviewed all week last week, they say there is a crisis at the border. And again, this is a way of confusing people. There is a crisis at the border, which is that there are a huge number of families there and there are no resources to address it because instead all the resources are going toward this non-existent fake crisis um, that's, that's requiring in, in the president's mind a border wall. Yeah. Caitlin, thanks for your reporting on this. We appreciate it. Caitlin Dickerson is a national immigration reporter. I this guess Caitlin's is, right. That's the answer. We just have to keep on telling the truth. Such an important and such a confusing story, but it doesn't need to be. Correct. We need border security. We need better immigration policy. Policy. Not, not political not theater. Wall. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.